Hello and welcome. So here is delivery of 11th key and the 11th key I will do on my own um, simply because Ceci is really busy to prepare for the dispatcher tonight which is a gratitude ceremony in case you don't know or you're not familiar with this. So the 11th key that we have been given in the in the sonic solstice ceremony on the 21st is actually the key of trust. Trust is a word that has many connotations. The two things that fascinated me about or still fascinate me about semiotics and tarot, I know they seem to be far apart, but both of them are about signs and symbols that have meaning beyond the common definition. In a way, they are sacred symbols that can open new horizons of understanding. So this is also what the keys are in general about. They are not just keys. There is a big symbolic meaning behind it because unlocking the keys to you is more than just using a key and opening up. It, it's much more than that. So this key of trust is not referring to a behavior. It's not referring to a state of mind, even a state of heart. This trust is referring to an inner knowing. An inner knowing who you, who you are, truly, of who you have come to be, the role that you have chosen for this lifetime, and also your connections with the divine. So trust in that inner knowing is also connected to the universe, to the movement of the planets that we call astrology, astronomy, to acknowledge and to have that inner knowing that there is something happening that has never happened before. And it's here and we are part. And that trust that this energy is, is here to take us into this new way of being, I want to say returning to that paradise that had been given to us when we came here to this planet first and stay in it, just like most indigenous have chosen to stay in. So yes, that trust is, is something quite significant and it's important that you are looking at the meaning of trust from the perspective of inner knowing. Inner knowing goes through the heart. So I can tell you plenty things, but if you don't feel it in your heart, that we could call a heart resonance, a, a harmonic resonance, it means nothing. As long as we analyze and use our trained brain capacities, we don't really find the truth and we don't really know the meaning of certain words. It's also not about one particular language, English. It's not about that. Every language has their own magic and every language has their own secret keys to unlock inner knowing and trust, to unlock a higher consciousness. So when we talk here about trust, and, and you will receive that key, I also encourage you to trust that this world is not our enemy. This world is not to be harmed. This earth is shifting. And this earth is alive. One of the biggest separations that we have experienced actually 
over this last couple of thousand years is that we were separated from the living consciousness of the planet from Earth. So this key hopefully brings us back into that trust, into the rhythms with this planet and the universe. So this will not be a formal meditation. I will just take you to receive that key. So let's see what comes. We are here in sacred space. We are calling in a golden torus to spin around us. That carries our awakened self, our I am presence, frequency and vibration. To receive today this 11th key to you. Let the magic of the sonics, the sound, take you into your I am presence. That interdimensional, intergalactic being of life that you are. Without time and space, form or shape, and yet the source of all that you are, through time and space, calling in now, but you could be Inca. Brother was gone. to give you the eleventh key to you. So that you can find your heart resonance, your trust, your inner knowing in your physical experience. unlock the homo luminous that you truly are. So receive this key to unlock trust beyond horizons.
let the sound find its way to unlock that trust that was always yours, that you always have been. And let it permeate through all your being into your human physical experience in the here and now and all your um, embrace it embody it and be it Chato kara meru e, chato kara me o e, chata kero me o e, ma yo ta ye. And then just come back, bring your consciousness back into your here and now. When you're ready, blink your eyes open and smile. So let me know how it went for you and how this journey is. Remember, it's just to unlock. It's just opening a door to a whole new experience. And maybe even at the end of next year, you will still learn about trust as we all do. Much love into your world and thank you for subscribing, liking. And most of all, what I really love is your comments so that we can really be in this community, that we can really share and understand each other and build these relationships that are so important at this time. Much love into your world from my heart to yours. And of course, much love from Ceci. Take care.